Good morning, dear friends. And uh, I bless you all in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I pray that you will have a great day today by the grace of God as you follow him. Now, the New Testament tells us much about the death of Jesus Christ and especially about the blood of Christ that is shed on the cross. So this morning I would like to meditate with you about Christ's death, especially the blood. There are seven things I want to mention about this. I'll only, point, I'll, I'll only mention the, uh, the, these things without much explanation. Number one, his death was a sacrifice. A sacrifice always involves blood. His death was an offering of his blood and his life. This we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, and also Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2. So remember, his death was a suffering, was, an, was a sacrifice where he shed his blood. And number two, it was a vicarious death. Now, a vicarious uh, uh, death means he died not for his own sake, but he died for the sake of others. He died for the sake of you and for the sake of me. And number three, his death was substitutionary. Now that means Christ suffered death as a penalty for our sin as our substitute. We owed a debt that we could not pay. And he paid the debt that he did not owe. That is substitutionary debt. And fourthly, it was propitiatory debt. Now that means Christ's death for sinners satisfied God's righteous nature and his moral perfection, which declared the soul which sinned must die because his holy nature also said without shedding of blood there is no remission of sin. Jesus alone had sinless, pure, and holy blood. That could wash away my sin completely, your sin completely. So by shedding his pure, innocent, holy blood, sinless blood, he took our place. So what we deserve, the condemnation and the punishment of sin, over sin, he took upon himself. And thus we are today set free because we trusted in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And so that's why Apostle Paul said in the book of Romans, there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Those who walk in obedience and humility before God acknowledging him as the only savior because only 
he has shed his blood thus paying the penalty for us for you and for me only this way god's holiness could remain uncompromised and remember god does not compromise his laws or his holiness and his standard and that's why jesus has to shed blood taking our place how grateful we need to be and when you understand that you will never cease to give praises and worship to our jesus and our lord fifthly his death was expiatory now it means a sacrifice to atone for sin that is a sacrifice directed toward cancelling guilt completely we were guilty before god and the only thing you and i deserve was hell fire but thus the christ death has removed guilt from our conscience from our heart completely and the power of sin which separated us from this holy living god remember the bible says your sin has separated you from god and it is this guilt and the sin that has kept us separated from god and separated from god means the only thing we deserve was hell fire but he gladly took our place and shed his blood which alone could wash away our sin completely and make us clean and thus god the father accept us today in his son jesus christ apart from him there is no way we can be united and joined to god the father again and the sixthly christ death was efficacious which means his sacrifice has the power within itself to produce the full effect of a man's redemption the sacrifice of christ in that sacrifice there is a complete power to set us free for our redemption that's why peter in his epistle says we are redeemed not by silver or gold things like that but we are redeemed by the precious blood of the lamb of god even the son of god and seventhly christ sacrifice was victorious by his death he won a decisive victory victory over satan victory over sin and a victory over against against a demonic host and 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 a victory over death and a victory against every enemy of god and man including the last and most powerful enemy called death itself hallelujah see jesus own words in the gospel according to st john chapter 3 uh, uh, to nicodemus 
3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now that perishing means eternally separated from a loving, holy God. And that separation will take us into hell eternally. And what a price, therefore, Jesus Christ has paid by winning a great victory forever. Satan no more has the power over those who are in Christ Jesus. And the sin has no more power over those who are cleansed and washed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And uh, those who are in Christ, we no longer have to be afraid of any demonic host, demonic powers, or even the evil uh, powers of darkness. And it means every member of a human race can be free from curses of a sin. We are victorious in his victory. When we talk about the curses of sin, you know, the, 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 the curses uh, means the, the diseases and sicknesses and pestilences and all kinds of uh, evil uh, experiences that, that, that we go through. Everything, every curse has been broken when Jesus Christ was broken on the cross. His brokenness made us whole. And that is why we need to be eternally grateful to our God the Father who did not spare his own son but released him for our sake. And he even gave him up to die on the cross. My friends, this is what Jesus' death and Jesus' blood has accomplished for you and for me. He did not die for himself. There was no sin in him. A sinless, holy, divine blood was needed. And therefore, God himself took the initiative by sending the second person in the Holy Trinity, even Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And he willingly came and gave himself. Think about this. How can anyone can resist such love? For God so loved the world. How can you and I resist this love? This love is not cheap, my dear friends. It is so precious. This is the reason salvation is given to us free. Because if we are to buy, we have no means of paying for it. It is so costly, so expensive. It cost God so preciously. So remember, he paid a debt that he did not owe. We owe that debt which he paid. Shall we be ever grateful and thankful to God when you realize that if he gave himself for us, is there anything else that he will not give us? You can trust him. You can depend on him. He will never fail you.
God bless you. Heavenly Father, help us, O God, by the Holy Spirit, that we shall never forget and never take this lightly, the death of Jesus Christ on the cross where he shed his blood. By that, he has won a victory, complete victory forever for those who trust in him. So may we, with the grateful hearts, acknowledge you as our Lord and our Savior. And we can always expect you to give anything else that we need in life. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Have a wonderful and good day. And experience and enjoy God's grace. Amen.